You're wandering along the riverside, safe in the knowledge that the water is calm and burbling. Your neck is scorched by the scorching Georgia heat. That's when you see an odd object on the ground. It appears to be a quarter-sized black coin with an unusual design. You stoop to get a better look. Is it a coin? This object resembles an old seal with a carved symbol. It's most likely from a long-dead civilization. You may sell it and profit handsomely. To pick up your newfound prize, you crouch down on one knee. As soon as your finger touches it, you jerk your hand back, terror welling up in your belly. It's hairy. Whatever the case may be, a proper cleaning will take care of it. It moves when you attempt to pick it up again. Burrowing your nails and the earth around it to draw it out of the ground, your heart skips a beat in your throat, thumping so loudly that you can feel it in your head. When the penny wiggles its way out of the dirt, the terror turns to horror. It's not a priceless relic, it's a colossal spider. To be accurate, a ravine trapdoor spider. As a shield, it has a hard, coin-like growth on the rear of its body. So hungry adversaries can't get to them, the eight-legged terrors dig into the earth and block it up like a cork, or huge befuddled people like yourself. Although the spider is venomous, its bite is not harmful to humans. Phew, you're in luck, but that's not to say you won't feel it. Keep your distance from those large fangs. So much for your wealth, perhaps fortune awaits you in the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. You're going through a dry field when you notice a long white streak ahead of you. As you come closer, you notice what appears to be a really long worm, but it's not like any other worm you've ever seen. It's at this point that you notice it has limbs and a head. A Mexico mole lizard is a whitish species with black beady eyes. It makes its home in the earth where it feeds on insects and termites. It's an uncommon sighting, so consider yourself fortunate to have spotted this strange reptile. You've arrived at a rainforest in northern Australia. You detect something enormous and spherical ahead of you, partially concealed behind the trees. This enigmatic creature on the ground is shrouded in black hair. At first glance, you could believe it's a bear curled up in a sleeping position, but it wouldn't make sense. There are no bears in Australia. When a twig cracks under your foot as you're getting closer, it hears you. It jumps to its feet and turns to face you. You realize this is a strange and lovely bird. That dense covering of long fine feathers is actually a thick coat of black hair. The head of this fearsome creature is brilliant blue with a huge horn on top. Is it a trumpet or something else? It stands on two strong legs, each with a dagger-like claw that can reach the length of your hand. You may mistake this for a velociraptor if the feathers were removed, but it's actually a cassowary, the world's most lethal bird. If it wanted to, it could jump right over your head. Its kicks are powerful enough to crush bones, and its claws can tear through anything like butter. This bird was created to hunt while also avoid being hunted. If you can't sprint above 30 miles per hour, don't even think about fleeing. You won't be saved by diving into that lake over there either. This bird can swim quite well. It's best to simply back away gently and hope it doesn't pursue you. The panda ant is another insect that illustrates it's better to keep your hands to yourself. The naming is self-evident. Like the beloved bamboo-chewing bear, it's black and white and fluffy. This fluffy, tiny ant lives in the Chilean woodlands, but don't go there to pet it. What you're seeing isn't even an ant. It's a wasp species, actually. One of the purposes of the black and white colors is to warn people about the insect's formidable stick. If it doesn't get your attention, the wasp will produce a squeaking sound. It may appear charming to humans, but it indicates that a severe sting is on the way. These insects are solitary creatures. They don't have nests nor dwell in colonies. They're parasites, too. A female panda ant deposits her eggs near another insect's larvae, and the hatchlings eat these larvae as if they were food. Well, that's because to them, they are. You've probably seen bugs that look like leaves and twigs, but have you ever seen one that looks like a lovely orchid? This fragrant bloom can be found amid other plants in the forest or a green field, but make sure it's a blossom you're leaning in to smell. You risk being bitten by a praying mantis if it isn't. It's very hard to tell the orchid mantis apart from the blooms. It's pink and white in appearance, with legs and claws that resemble little flowers. It hides from predators and hunts insects that enjoy these blooms thanks to its lightness to the plant. When a butterfly or bee comes up to the flower and one of the petals begins to move, the unsuspecting meal may mistake it for the breeze, but the petal quickly transforms into a sharp claw that captures the insect. 
my supper has arrived. Now envision yourself in the Costa Rican forests. A brown snake sits on a tree limb just in front of your face. The snake appears to be preparing to strike. You want to go as fast as you can, but you notice that this snake is exceptionally short and doesn't strike out at you. You wait, but the snake remains fixed on you. It doesn't even make a hissing noise. Because it's not a snake, but a caterpillar, it'll never bite you. The hawk moth caterpillar may transform its body shape to resemble a dangerous snake. Any hungry opponents will be easily scared away by this. The skin's color and texture resemble snake scales and eyeballs. This insect can also move like a reptile, making it a master of deception. Let's leave the sweltering forest and go to the center of Europe. You're standing in the center of a brightly colored meadow. Flowers of all colors flourish all around. Birds chirp and bees swarm. Some bees are not what they appear to be. The impostors are difficult to spot, but what if you look closely enough? You could see the golden bee fly gliding through the air. It resembles a bumblebee, yet it's the buzzer's worst foe. The golden bee fly infiltrates the beehive and deposits its eggs there. The larvae of this insect hatch and feed on bees and floral nectar. The invader can remain unnoticed for the entire time because of the yellow and black coloration. Enemies are also kept at bay by the camouflage. If it believes it'll be stung by a bumblebee, nothing will affect it. The jungle in southern Thailand is the next stop on your adventure. Now be extra cautious and watch your step. Not because the next animal is toxic or bites, but rather because you could trip on it. The leaves have fallen off the trees and have become a drab brown color. The Malaysian horned leaf frog is difficult to see among these leaves. The amphibian's body form, color, and especially the sharp growths over its eyes all help it to blend in nicely with the fallen leaves. This frog may stay in one spot for hours, waiting for its next meal to approach. You've arrived at a garden. You notice a lovely, brilliant flower with a little bird fluttering nearby. The bird's wings flap so swiftly that you can't see them, and the long needle-like beak makes you think you're gazing at a hummingbird. But as you go closer, you discover it's an insect, not a bird. The hummingbird hawk moth, fortunately, is non-venomous and doesn't hurt. It's just a charming tiny creature that adds to the beauty of the garden. To attract these moths, many people nurture nectar-rich plants. That's it. Ever seen any of them in real life? Let us know in the comments, and before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share, and subscribe for more amazing content. See you again.